to Narinda Kaur Blimey. And today we're going to be cooking chili paneer for all you veggie fans out there because I've had so many comments and people say, when are you going to do vegetarian? When are you going to do vegetarian? Today we're doing vegetarian and it's one of my specialities. Chili paneer. Again, we're going to keep it quick, simple, fast. The ingredients you're going to need are ready cubed paneer. You can get this from any supermarket. You can get the blocks. If you can't get it ready cubed, don't matter. You can just chop them into cubes. You need three small onions or two large onions, some garlic. You can use the, the frozen garlic like I always use, or frozen ginger. And um, tin of tomatoes, probably just need half a tin of chopped tomatoes. This is my favorite ingredient. I could eat this on everything. Possibly not cereal, but I could have this on everything. It's the Echinoa hot pepper sauce. And you add that as much as you want or as little. I have lots of that. A bit of soya sauce and peppers sliced and your two to three small onions sliced thinly and then your larder dry ingredients garam masala turmeric cumin seeds fenugreek seeds again that's not a necessity just if you have it chili powder if you want some more chili and salt so let's get cooking so, as you know, we're making chili paneer and we've got all our ingredients over here. We've got my good old wok. I know this is Indian cooking, but I do love the Chinese wok. And for paneer, I think it just has everything breathe and fry so beautifully. So let's get the heat on. Let's get that hot. Let's get a good drizzle of olive oil. Put that in, just about that much. Spread it around the wok. Now you can you can chop some ginger and you can sort of chop some garlic. I put some frozen garlic in. Just about a tiny little handful really. Or as much as you like. Indian cooking is if you like a lot of garlic, have a lot of garlic. If you like a lot of ginger, put more ginger in. And um, some people don't even put ginger in, they'll just, you know, there you go. Look, just about a nice handful there. Put that in. Stir that around. Put cumin seeds. Little half a teaspoon of that. Let's get that all hot. Let's add your fenugreek seeds. Again, this is optional. You don't have to have that. A little sprinkle of that. Um, give that a nice stir. Now I think cook the ginger and garlic because when it comes, when it's fresh, because I know the aunties out there and you guys will be saying, well, my mum would say use fresh garlic, use fresh ginger. In fact, my sister who's in the back has just said, oh, you should be using fresh. Of course, fresh just to give it that, you know, little bit better taste, but I actually don't notice the difference. I think, I mean, I even use pure garlic or ginger sometimes, and it comes out fabulous. So, okay, look, as you can see, that's sizzling away. Let's cook up this cumin seed, let's cook up the fenugreek seed, and let's get that garlic and ginger lightly toasted. Then, all you do is add your sliced onions. Leave the peppers out for now because you want to keep them crisp. If you put the peppers in now, I mean, you could put them in, but I don't think it get, they kind of go soggy and we want the peppers to sit crisp. So you put your onions in, add some salt. I know I've had a comment saying, oh my God, how much salt did you put in? Let's just put a sprinkling, teaspoon, tablespoon of salt. Give it a good stir. And as I say in all my cooking, leave that for about until it's not getting lightly brown. So the onions, garlic, ginger, and the fenugreek seed and cumin seeds and salt have been frying for about three, five, three to five minutes, beautifully brown. Now we will add in a quarter teaspoon of the turmeric powder. Now remember, we never want to go overboard with this because it can ruin a curry. Maybe just a little bit more than a quarter. Garam masala, let's just pour all of that in. About a teaspoon of that. Little quarter teaspoon of chili powder because it is chili paneer. So this is for people who really like their curries hot. And this is a nice hot vegetarian curry. Stir all the spices in. Remember, I always get that cough <clears throat> every time I do this bit because the spices, the dried powders are all coming up and I kind of always get stuck at the back of my throat, but it's beautiful. Stir that all in. That's lovely. Add your tomato tin. We only need a quarter of this. A little bit of tomatoes. Give that a nice stir. I'm gonna add in a really good dollop of this. 
because it's chilli paneer and I want it hot. There you go. If you've got kids eating, I mean I've got two little children, and if they're eating it, I actually don't add any chilli, um, but then I don't actually enjoy it, so I do a, a quick version for my husband, which is really hot, and then for the kids, I'll just not put any chilli in. Add in two packets of your ready cucumber. Add that in. Nice stir, look at that. And you always want the colours right, because they're the yellow on the paneer. That is looking fabulous. Give that a lovely stir. Add your green and red peppers, yellow peppers, whatever colour. More colours the better, because I do love a good colour on my chilli paneer. It's a beautiful looking dish. Give that a nice stir. Shake your spoon off. Add my secret ingredient, splash of soy sauce. And leave that to cool. So there you go. 20 minutes later, chili and pepper paneer. Them colours are so vibrant, and you can serve that with some pita bread, some naan bread, some rice, salad. Absolutely beautiful. The smell in here is absolutely stunning. So there you have it chili paneer and peppers. Beautiful, took about 20 minutes in total. Absolutely stunning. Mm. If you've been enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. It's just one click, one click. Please subscribe and like my videos. I hope you're enjoying them. There's so much more to come. Please bear with me and keep watching. Oh, <laughs> Oh,